Adagio. Gul'dan versus. Okay, we're playing Adagio this time. With honor. Your soul shall be mine. Uh, I go first. I'm. I'm all right with these cards. That one, not so much, but. Uh. The main problem I've had last last few games is the just lack of taunt cards to kind of stop the enemy smacking me in the face constantly. Um, and I think that would help. So we're playing another paladin. I don't think this is the same one though that we played last time. Oh, fucker! Where's my slime? Blatantly not going to get a slime, am I? <laughs> of course not. Why do you fall? There we go. We got a taunt out. That's useful. So that means he need he'll have to start attacking him instead now, which is fine by me. So that's turn two, turn three. I can buff the imp to make it a four-three, or I could buff the. Uh, mm. the, the Void Walker, and give make that a two four. Not really sure that's really worth it. We shall see what he plays. Oh, a two three. So I would have to sacrifice my imp to kill it, unless I buff my imp. Is what I'm gonna do. We must cleanse the sun well. So that's a four three. That's a two one, which would kill off this. As you command, but I'm not gonna take that out because I have a taunt up. So if he wants to sacrifice that minion into the taunt, which he does, he can. So he could kill my imp this turn if he wanted to, but then he'd take four points of damage, which I don't think he's really going to want to do at all. Reporting for duty. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Let's just check. All enemy minions, so that's of no use to me. So let's put this out. So now that has two health, which means this can't kill it. <laughs> and we shall do this. And then we shall hit him in the face. This is going pretty well. So far, so good. Uh, I kind of want to get that Silver Hand Knight out next turn. Get a few more minions on the board. Not on my watch. What? What? Really? Have you given a div reporting for duty? You got a what? Are you giving your divine shield to a 1 1 creature? Why would you do that? Uh, okay. Grats. <laughs> Just gonna hit you in the face again. Squire, attend me! Ready, sir. Is this really necessary? Uh. What? No! Oh. That was scary. I thought that was going to be an automatic loss. Okay, let's try again. That's, just, that's really annoying, though, because we're doing so well. We were doing really well. Ugh. How annoying. Ugh. That could have been win number three. That could have been... Ooh. That could have been win number three, and now... Now we'll never know. Gul'dan it's Tom. Versus. Yeah, we lost against the Warlock last time. Your soul shall be mine. Yeah, let's... Your soul shall suffer. This is good, apart from this, don't need that. Let's get a new one. Good. Low cost cards at the start of the game, which is nice. I 
smell blood. So we can't attack him because he's stealthed. Um, but we can put this guy out. Do I have to? And he's stealthed. So, nah. <laughs> as soon as he comes out of stealth, though, I can attack Why him. Oh. Yeah, he's going to come out of stealth this turn and attack me. I can use more portal coil on him next turn and kill him off. And... Uh, let's play this now because um, why not and I wasn't supposed to do that I was supposed to have played that one so now I'm going to have to coin to kill that, one off. that was really dumb that was a mistake that was a, a, a dumb mistake I should have was supposed to have played the flame imp and not him he should have gone out next turn balls Never mind. Never mind. It's done now. So he's given that plus two plus two. And he's just gonna hit me with it. Fair enough. Uh okay. If I play this, still not gonna kill it. We must cleanse the sun well. I could bring this guy out of stealth to kill it, but it makes him a prime target. I want to leave him in stealth so he can't be attacked, so I've always got this extra plus one health to everything. Oh, he's dead next turn. I mean, you know, the the, the Void Walker will die next turn, but. Mind if I roll knee? It's just annoying. Oh, there you go. He, sac he sacrificed it into the into the plus four attack monster. Monster, monster. Uh, okay. Let's play this. And we'll have to tap for another card. And then we'll ignore this. Push forward. Ignore this because it'll. When he dies, it draws a card. And uh, yeah, I don't want him to draw a card. Undone. Oh, for God's sake! Really? Deal two damage. There's not a lot of damage coming in at the moment. I could get rid of him with that. I don't really want to. I guess. Yeah, there's not a lot of damage coming in at the moment, so it might be better if I just Squire, attend get my minions out. Ready, sir. And not attack this turn and just save it. Maybe I could have attacked because I've only taken one damage. Probably should have done thinking about it. That was probably a bad move because I could have taken him down to 1 1 and now he's big bad. Yeah. Still, there's only three damage coming in this turn, so it's not huge amounts. Two health, two health, one health. If I sacrifice this guy with this, that will die, that will die, that will die. That will have taken two points of damage. Hmm. He does get to draw a card though. Um, and then we shall push forward. We should do that, and we shall life tap, 
get the demolisher next. There we go. <coughs> I have board control. But he has more health than me. Not much more. But, you know, I can even, uh, even it up next turn. Pain, speak to me. <laughs> I can still even up. Go on, life tap. Oh, you didn't life tap. Mm, that's interesting. If I play this, my drain life does three damage. I can kill that guy off straight away. Doesn't mean I really can't do much else though. Battle. Good life tap again. We'll be on the same amount of health then. There we go, that's good. That's what we would like to see, destroy a minion. I mean, store three health. Useful, useful card. I'm slightly beginning to think that this was a bad idea getting this card now. Because I very rarely use it, because once this guy's out, uh, I don't really want to use this, because then that becomes a taunt and they can just kill it. Oh, actually, if he's stealth, maybe... Oh. Balls. Well, he's dead now, so I guess I can use it. Um. Actually, what I might do... Do that. That's now a 9-7. That's now a 10 <laughs> I really hope he doesn't have a Siphon Soul, otherwise there was no point in doing that. Oh, he's got two! He's had to discard two cards in order to be able to do that. And he's got nothing on the table, so I shall play this. And this. Behold the might of Storm Wind. Okay. This is looking a bit more positive now. What you want? Glory to the Sindori. Okay. You've only got five health. Are you really sure you wanted to be the life tapping at five health? Or at seven? I, I kill you with one minion next time. You need to kill my Stormwind Champion or have Taunt. Hmm. hmm. You've got... Just click the button. You've got no more mana. Are you just going to be a dick about this, Tom? Come on, Tom. Don't be a dick about it. Come on now, Tom. Just click the button. Your soul shall suffer. Oh, they left. So instead of conceding, they just left. Well, it's another victory for us. That gives us our three victories. Alright, this is going well. This is going very well indeed. It could have been four. That other... So I'm wondering now, if they left, would that still count as a loss for them? Or is that their way of dealing with losing in the arena? If they think they're going to lose, if they just leave the game, would that still count as a loss? Hmm, that'd be interesting, because you could essentially just keep doing that every game that you think you're going to lose. Um, to prevent actually racking up lo losses. Which is a bit of an exploit. Might have to look into that. But still, we won, so, you know. Living the three, 
three three dream. <laughs> four four two maybe? Should we go for four two? Let's give it a try, shall we? 